Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the weekly show with Dear Wine. Let's talk about the Pentagon leaks. According to recent reports, dozens of classified intelligence files have mysteriously appeared on the internet, being spread around like a popular game on Discord. <laughs> Now the U.S. authorities have arrested a suspect that leaked the documents online. Meanwhile, officials from other countries are assessing the damage, and some are even wondering. Could these leaked files possibly be seen by even more people? Because <laughs> these files not only reveal how the U.S. provoked the Russian-Ukrainian war, but expose details of America's spying activities on both friends and enemies. Guys, this is not just a minor leak. This is like another Oscars of the intelligence world. <laughs> Take a look. A nation country was forced to provide ammunition for Ukraine without angering Moscow, while a NATO ally might be helping Russia against Ukraine. The leaked files also reveal how the U.S. monitors its own allies. Just imagine the U.S. eavesdropping on its allies using advanced satellite technology, sitting on the couch with popcorn. Who needs it? Spying only exists in movies. <laughs> They might be checking your conversations, your emails, your Twitter DMs, even the goodnight texts you sent to your mom. They're so desperate to know all your secrets, so they can pull out the trump card at the right moment. You might be like, "How could you do this to me? We're your allies." Then the U.S. goes, mm -hmm. "Allies? I thought you were my vessels." Now the response from the international community has been varied. Some countries said this leak is not enough to shake their alliance with the U.S. They're like, "Yeah, he snooped through my phone, but I still love him." Nothing says partnership like a little bit of espionage. <laughs> Some countries are demanding an explanation from the United States, but so far they've received nothing more than a sound of crickets. Other countries are claiming. That the leaked intelligence isn't accurate. It's like someone getting caught with their hand in the cookie jar, and they say, "No, no, no, that's not accurate. I was just um making sure the cookies were still there." <laughs> For such a political whirlwind, we cannot help but ask, "Where are you, Hollywood?" I mean, it's a perfect script, with spies, politics, technology, and war. All the essential elements of a Hollywood blockbuster, but that's right. Who needs spy movies when you can watch real-life espionage on social media? <laughs> that's it for tonight's show. Just like the old saying goes, when lies become the truth, the truth becomes a punchline. Have a good night. <laughs>